Yo, so I'm back from sunny Australia, back to sunny pool. Yeah, not so sunny. Anyways, while I was out there, I was kind of thinking about my job and the ocean and uh, all the cool things that you can have with RC. What have we got? We've got cars that do over 200 miles an hour, boats that do 90 miles an hour, probably faster. We've got 3D racing drones, we've got 3D helicopters, we've got all sorts of stuff. I've tried most of it, but as I said, I work at sea, and I was thinking, what could I use at work that could be fun also for exploration and stuff, and I came across ROVs. Now, ROVs are expensive. I mean, like the type of things you'd use for the Titanic. Yeah, I don't want to even think about buying one of those. I don't think I'd buy one in about 10 lifetimes. But what I can have is Gladius Mini 2. This thing's pretty cool, goes down to 100 meters. Uh, it's got a Sony camera in it. You've got full 3D control, even a manipulating arm, a grabber, uh, that'll give a seven kilo uh, grip. Now, seven kilos, I'd love to see what that feels like, but uh, I don't think I'd want to keep my hand in there. So let's go and have a look at this thing and uh, see what we get. But like I said, this could be really cool, exploring the seabed looking for treasure what could be cooler all right so here it is chasing all right so here you go gladius mini s and we got more stickers that weighs a ton. How cool is that? Alright, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Sea water. Okay. Two little thrusters, look. How sweet. Got the uh, mat box. Table. Got the tether, 200 meters of cable. That's going to be a handful, but they do do a uh, an option for a, a hand wind or an automatic winding. Uh, sort of, I don't know what you call it really. I have a controller. Feels high quality. So the difference between this and some of the others is this is tethered, as in this doesn't go remotely, wirelessly to the tether. This tether connects directly into here. So you've got HDMI, everything. Uh, so you don't have to worry about a wireless connection dropping out when your mini ROV is 100 meters underwater. Now this is the famous towel I heard about for drying off your mini sub when she's finished power cables chargers manuals man there's a lot of tether that weighs a ton this controller is very cool what else do we have so tether in here hdmi usb-c ah that's the grabber camera on and off i think Nice. Nice and bright, you aren't going to lose that. And then your phone mount. And the tablet. It's big enough to even put my iPad Pro in that. Awesome. Now, let's get my knife out again. There it is. The grabber, the claw. Let's have a look. What have we here? Oh yeah, look at that. How sweet is that? And I'm gonna put a connector. It's about the size of my hand. Rad. Okay, so what else do we have? Yeah, okay, so there's the little 
Thumb screw set five. If you manage to kill one, as you can see, we want to put that little key at the bottom, thread that in. Maybe it's silicon for these low rings. Just this, pull it back. That's bar tight. Oh, there it is. Check that out. What a piece of kit. Now let's get it charged up. Take so we're going to be here. Sunny old sandbanks in pools. So we're going to dump it in here and see whether we lose it or not. Um, did a bit of an unboxing in the van, take you over a little bit. But we've got something else cool with it, which is uh, the E-reel. So it's a motorized reel. Instead of having to manually throw the cable in and out, you manually throw it out, but then it electronically winches it back in. So we'll show you that. The Gladius Mini S uh, and the spool. So as I said, we can kind of turn it on over here we'll show you retracting this in a bit but this is the rov so we've got five thrusters two stern one two three for up and down and maneuvering we have the claw and then at the front 4k camera two led lights the tether at the rear the memory card goes in here this is pretty cool because you can take the, the arm off and you can uh, put various other attachments, extra GoPros and that on, which is kind of cool. So you can have an extra camera if you want. Check this out. How cool is that? So let's get it in the water. So I changed over phones so you can have a little look and the ROV is out there so far it's pretty much like flying a drone in the air um, it's not very good the, the water was rough there yesterday so it's a bit silted up but i did see some seaweed anyway let's have another look <laughs>
you go. Here's the ROV. Let's bring her to the surface. As you can see, we've got two lights. We can raise her nose and lower her nose, dive. To the depths of the, the bottom and it'll hold that angle go angle up so let's come back up and you can see her nose up nose down i don't think i'm going to get to see very much here today Oh, seaweed! Yay! Come out, it's not so bad. Not found any treasure. <laughs> I'd really like to find something to pick up. Just not the visibility. Lights are on. Nobody's home. That's in the peak. Okay, so that's the end of it for now. Let's uh, get her back out. It's all locked out. Oh, what a wicked piece of kit. Let's give her a rinse off and put her to bed. Very important to look after your kit. Oh. Okay, so here's the important things. We need to undo that tether and put a bung on without getting water. In it, so we have this little bung. So we'll just unscrew that, like so. Make sure she's dry, and then later I'll remove that so that it can dry with the air. And that is her put to bed, jet washed, ready to go. Alright, so this is the chasing e-reel. We are going to turn it on with this button. Okay, she is on. And then I'm going to suck up this tether through here, which we just jet washed on. And we do so by... How cool is that? Several speeds, several speeds, three speeds, two speeds, in fact, sorry. But we don't need to go too fast. We're nearly at the end there already. And there it is. How cool is that? So, all in all, I don't really know what I videoed. I have to look back at the footage, but there it is, the Gladius S Mini. Um, really easy to control, um, maybe that's just because I've flown and built drones in the past. Uh, this e-reel, wow, that's a lot easier than just uh, manually trying to uh, spool up the, the tether. So anyway, uh, let's go back, let's edit this, see what footage we got. But I recommend it, it's an awesome piece of kit. Shame we didn't find anything to pick up with the claw, um, but that's to come many 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 adventures to have with this all right man thanks for subscribing if you haven't smash the bell catch you on the flip side